Good evening once again, everybody, and welcome to Gerland Dutchman Basketball here at Gerland High School. Today is January 15th, 2019. I'm Sean Cunningham. For tonight's game, the Dutchmen take on the Shenandoah Plainsmen, who enter the game with a record of 6-3 and three in the conference. They are in third place in the Suburban Council Blue standings. Dutchmen still looking for that all-important first win. They are 0-8 with a record of 0-12 overall. And as you can see, Bethlehem and Saratoga tied for the top record. In the division, both have records of 8-0, and and we are underway. The Dutchmen start off with the ball first. In possession right now is number 14, Anthony Moffrey, the junior. And a little give and go between him and number two, Brandon Caulfield. Now he passes it up to Billy Leah. Moffrey back with it now, up top. Moffrey a little fake. Back to Caulfield. Caulfield going for three scores. It's been good at making those threes so far. Dutchman on the board first, as back the other way, a chance for a three by Shen and a miss by Devin Dezekis. As back the other way with it is Moffrey, and the pass broken up, and out of play it goes. Well, not quite out of play, but play was stopped as Leah with it now, passes it over for Moffrey. Moffrey for Caulfield, Caulfield back to Moffrey. Down low, Teeny. Teeny caught. Gal pass up, Gagan. Gagan with a little fake. Back up top, Moffrey. Now for Teeny. Teeny with a little, another little fake. Walks in, tries a shot. And Teeny is fouled on the play. 7.03 to go to start off this first quarter. P foul picked up by number 23, Devin Dezekis. And Ryan Teeny will receive two. And he makes his first. Teeny comes into tonight's game with the most points scored out of any player on Gilliland this year. And he just added two more points to that total as he makes both of his free throws and Dutchman off to an early five point lead. Looking very good so far against a very, very good Shen team. With it now is Nick Lemire for Shen. Now it's back up top for Altenberger. Come for Lemire. Coming in is Altenberger with a shot and he scores to get Shen on the board. Altenberger very good at making those two pointers. Came into the game with 42 on the year. As with it now is Leah. And that pass goes nowhere, goes out of play. And will be Shen's ball here. Score is five to two in favor of the Dutchman. 6.26 to go, as with it now is Jake Reinish, who is the top threat for Shen. He comes in the game with 200 points, including many three-pointers, as a three-pointer attempt made by Sanger, but it did not go. And back the other way with it come the Dutchman, with it Caulfield. Give and go with Moffrey. Back for Caulfield. Caulfield looks, gives it back across to Moffrey. Moffrey back for Caulfield. Just a give and go. With it now is Leah. Back up top. Caulfield for another three. That one doesn't go. And it's picked up and carried the other way by Shen. With it now is Reinish. I believe that's Reinish. Now down low for Altenberger. Altenberger going for another two and he scores that one. And now it's five to four. As the Dutchman start up the other way with it. Moffrey. Fertini back up top, Moffrey. Try to pass down low for Leah, didn't work, and now back the other way comes Sanger. Sanger tries to get around Moffrey, and he's knocked down, and Sanger scores for two, putting Shen in the lead by one. So after getting the first five points of the game, Shen has picked up the next six, as Gagan with it now. That pass is taken away from him, and now back the other way once again comes Shen. Back up top, Reinish for three and he scores. There's the danger player for Shen as he comes up with another three. Came into the game leading Shen with 41 three-pointers and he adds another one to his total there. It's Moffrey once again doing a give and go with Caulfield. Teeny with it now, gets behind, goes for three, he scores. Teeny now with five points says, a much needed three there. It's nine to eight now in favor of Shen. 
Nick Lemire coming forward with it. Gets it over for Sanger. Now back up top for Altenberger. Now with it is Lemire. Lemire with Moffrey trying to get on him. Gives it over for Sanger. Going for three. Bounces up. Rebound tried to be gained by Altenberger. He does pick it up. Now coming in with it, Lemire. He tries a shot. Rebound picked up once again, but able to get it is Anthony Moffrey in a nice play in front of the hoop. Long pass for Tini. He's able to get it and get it back to Moffrey. Now with it, Caulfield. Nice move by Leah. Tried to pass to Gagan, but it was intercepted by Sanger and taken back the other way by Lemire. Lemire trying to get around Moffrey. Gets a pass back to Sanger. Going for the three is Dezekis. He scores. Dezekis picks up three. It's now a four-point lead. As Anthony Moffrey once again comes up center. And he gives it off to Brandon Caulfield. Back for Moffrey. Another little give and go is now with it, Teeny. Back for Caulfield. Caulfield looks for a play, gives it to Moffrey. Moffrey tries for three, can't get it. And the rebound's picked up by Reinish, who carries it the other way for Shen. Reinish passes it over, going for the three. Dezekis, and he doesn't make it, and the rebound's picked up by Moffrey. 3.05 to go. Teeny gives it back to Moffrey. Moffrey charging in, and he gets it knocked out of his hands. And play stops. In the game now, Lucas Seom. The pass up with it now is Andrew Martin. Martin to pass along to Sanger. Down low, Martin tries it for two and he scores. First two points of the game for Andrew Martin as Ryan Tini charges in, tries a shot, and he gets fouled. And Shen will pick up another foul, and Tini will pick up another two free throws here as the foul is picked up by Altenberger. Tini already with five points tonight. He's going to look to add to that here. And he picks up his first. And his second one makes it in as well. Scores 14 to 10 in favor of Shen. 2.35 to go. It's Andrew Martin. Gives it across for Reinish. Reinish back to Martin. Martin a little fake on Moffrey. Goes back for Reinish who shoots. And the rebound is back out for Martin as the shot missed. Back up top. Sanger with a pass to Altenberger. Altenberger looking to go in. Tries a shot, can't make it. His rebound, he scores. So Altenberger, the team lead right now. He's got six points on the night. Teeny walks in, he scores again. Nine points tonight for Teeny so far in the first quarter. As Reinish has it up top, comes charging in with a shot. It's on top of the rim and it rolls its way in for two. And a long pass forward, here comes Teeny once again. Tries the shot, he scores that one. Hits the basket but the foul is picked up so points will be awarded here, Teeny once again. And foul picked up once again by Altenberger as we take a timeout here. Dutchman's staying in this game so far. Came out with an early start, five points. Shen picked up the next six. And so far it's been mo more of a back and forth game from what we expected. As the break, Tini's gonna try for two more free throws. As tonight so far he has picked up 11 after the three pointer by Brandon Caulfield open tonight's game. Tini has already hit double digit points tonight. He has 11 in this first quarter and he has a chance to add to that now as we come back from the timeout. And Tini will receive two more free throws. Actually no, it was just one, my bad. But he makes it and it's now a three point game, 18-15 as Martin with a pass 
for Altenberger. Altenberger up top for Sayom. A little fake trying trying to get for Altenberger, but through a bobble, he's able to pick it back up, and now he's with it down low. Altenberger with Leah all over him, and the whistle blows. I'm pretty sure a foul is going to be called here, and yes, there is, and it's going to be on Billy Leah, his first foul tonight, and the first overall for the Dutchman. So Martin finds Sangare going for three. He scores that one. Sangare gets the three. It's shot up by six now, 21-15 the score. Brandon Caulfield with it now. He's able to get it back to Moffrey. It's Brun Patrick Bruno now in the game. Tried to fake, now give it back to Caulfield. Now for Tini. Back up top, Moffrey. Moffrey. Charges in, gives it back to Teeny. Teeny tries to charge in again, and a whistle blows. And a foul is called on Lucas Sayom, his first. And the fourth for Shen overall tonight. And Altenberger comes out. Dezekis comes in for Shen. Patrick Bruno with it, gives it up top for Brandon Caulfield. Caulfield for Moffrey. Back over for Caulfield. Caulfield looking for Bruno. Can't find a good lane, so he gives it back to Moffrey. Moffrey with it. Gives it back up top, Leah. Leah thought about shooting, but gives it back to Moffrey. Up top now with it, Caulfield. Moffrey with it now. Still trying to look for that angle as Caulfield. He can't find it. Moffrey tries to get around. Does a nice move on Ray, and it just bounces out. And... Moffrey is fouled on this shot by Ray. His first foul tonight, fifth of the first quarter. For Shannon, Moffrey will receive two. And he misses the first one. 20.3 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Shen clean to a six point lead. And second free throw is also missed by Moffrey. Two for six in free throw attempts coming into tonight's game. DJ Sangare just waiting here with six seconds to go. He charges forward, gives it up top, going for the three at the end of the quarter. And another shot taken, but that is going to do it for the first quarter. Shen leads at the end of one by a score of 21 to 15. Five fouls were made for Shen in the first quarter. One, only one was made by Gotelin. So, so far it's been mainly a back and forth game played between both teams, but it's Shen currently with the lead as we head into the second quarter after a brief timeout. So scoring recap at the end of the first, Ryan Tini has 12 points for Gilliland. 12 out of the 15 points scored so far for Gilliland as Brandon Caulfield, like I said earlier, nailed the first points of the game with a three-pointer. And James Altenberger has six points for Shen to lead them. And TJ Sanger and Jake Reinish each have five. Devin Dezekis has two and Andrew Martin has one. And speaking of Martin, he has the ball right now as Moffrey trying to defend on him. As Lemire with it now. With it back up top is Sangare. Now a shot taken by Lemire and it's no good. And Lee is able to pick it up. And Moffrey will carry it forward and pass it over for Tini. Back up top for Moffrey. Caulfield for Bruno. Bruno thought about shooting. Now gives it across to Moffrey. 
Caulfield down low, Leah. Leah thought about shooting, now he finds a lane and shoots, but he can't get it. And it's carried the other way by Lucas Sayom. Sayom tries to walk in on Moffrey, who gets knocked down. And I believe there's a foul coming up on Moffrey. Yes, there is, his first. Pass over, shot taken by, I believe that was 23, that's Dezekis, and it didn't go as Teeny has it back the other way. With it now is Leah, up top with it is Moffrey. Caulfield gives it across now for Teeny. Teeny back up top, Caulfield, now with it is Moffrey. Moffrey goes for three, just missed. And it's picked up by Reinish. He passes it along for Dezekis. Dezekis charges in, goes for a shot. Nice play by Leah and Caulfield. And play stops. Go and receive possession as foul is picked up by Devin Dezekis, his second tonight. As Moffrey and Caulfield will start off with it. Pat Bruno gave it back to Moffrey, who's now with it up top. Moffrey, fake, gives it across for Bruno. Back up top for Moffrey. Moffrey thought about shooting, now gives it over for Caulfield. Tini has it down low. Good, doing a good job of defending, he gets hit in the face by Altenberger. And the foul's picked up by Altenberger, his third already tonight. Seven fouls so far tonight for Shen. And Ryan Cheney will once again receive a free throw. And of course, Cheney with another successful free throw. And he'll get another one here as Looks to decrease the lead, and he does so again. 14 points already for Ryan Tini tonight. As the Dutchmen are now down by four. So Shannon possession right now. Altenberger shot up top by Reinisch is no good. It's almost kept in by Altenberger, but they're going to say it went out of play. So Dutchman will receive possession here. Six minutes to go in this second quarter. Anthony Moffrey starts it off. Gives it across to Bruno, gives it back for Moffrey. Nice pass down low for Teeny. Teeny with a shot, no good, and it was almost knocked away from Lemire by Leah, but Lemire carries it up for Shen. Lemire gives it across for Altenberger, now with it is Sayom. Sayom walks in. Nice pass across for Reinish. Reinish for the three, and it's knocked away. And it's going to head out of play right into the scorer's table. So Moffrey with it now. Nice fake as him and Caulfield once again trade passes. Moffrey with it. Gives it across for Bruno. Long pass finds Caulfield. And down low with it is Teeny. Teeny with a shot. Goes off the rim and it's picked up by Sanger. Nice it forward for Lemire. Lemire for Lavery. Now a shot taken and just getting it in there is Lemire for his first two points tonight. Lead is now back to six for Shen. And time is called. Gillen will take a 30 second timeout here with 4.49 to go here in the second quarter. So not a lot of points have been scored so far in this second quarter.
So back from that 30-second timeout, Brandon Caulfield. Svergillen gives it back up center for Moffrey. And he gets knocked away as he's trying to make the pass to Bruno and it goes out of play. It's going to be a foul on Sayom. Seen a lot less turnover so far by the Dutchman. That was a criticism that Coach Parks has had with, for this team. Moffrey's going to receive free throws here. And just made it in on the first one. Back to a five point lead for Shen. And the second one does not make it. As Nick Lemire carried up center along with Sayom down as with it now is Lavery. Up top with it, Reinish. Reinish looking for a pass. Finds Lavery down low. Lavery tries to get around Bruno, takes the shot, but looks like there's gonna be a foul on the play here. It's gonna be against Patrick Bruno, I believe. And it will be. And Luke Lavery, who hasn't played much this year for Shen, will get two free throws. And he misses his first. As Jonathan Ray comes in for Lucas Sayom. And making the second free throw is Lavery. First free throw he has made this season. And now call being come, call being made on Gilolin here. Shen will receive possession. Sangir making motions here as he's with the ball. Gets it up top for Reinish. Now back for Sangir. Nice pass down low as Ray gets it back up top for Sangir. Martin gives it across. Reinish going for three. Just missed. The rebound. Picked up once again by Shen. Reinish with it now. Reinish trying to get in position here as he gives it off for Ray. Ray for Reinish. Back for Ray, and he'll give it back up top for Martin. With it now, Sangir. Sangir gives it up top, Martin. Still looking for the pass. And a whistle is blown as the shot from Reinish didn't go. as Anthony Moffrey will come back the other way with it. Long pass right over the head of Teeny goes out into the hallway. As with it now is Andrew Martin for Shen. 3.30 to go here in the second quarter. Shen up by six, says Martin. He's with it up top, motioning for Ray to go down. And he gives it off for Dezekis. Dezekis gives it back up top for Martin. Martin now for Reinish. Reinish with a spin move on Leah, shoots, and the rebound comes out to Leah. And him and Ray collide as play comes to an end. As foul is called on Ray, his second foul tonight. And Billy Leo will receive free throws here for the Dutchman. And he misses the free throw and will be picked up and carried the other way by Sanger. Gave it to Martin. Now with it is Reinish. Reinish gives a pass across to Sanger. Sanger fakes on Tini. Now gives it to Dezekis. Dezekis for Ray. Ray looking for a pass across, gives it up top. Sangare for three, missed, and the rebound picked up by Brandon Caulfield, who gives it to Anthony Moffrey. Moffrey with it, and now for Caulfield. Teeny for Caulfield. Caulfield with it, gives it up top for Moffrey. Moffrey, nice pass down low for Leah, and the foul on the play.
as Xander Martin will carry it up center for Shen. It's been a quiet quarter in terms of scoring for both sides as with it now Dezekis. Long pass and it's broken up by Caulfield but Ryan is able to save possession. He th throws the ball at the leg of Caulfield. And doesn't get a nice response from the Gilderland fans as Reinish a little bit upset with Caulfield there as Caulfield picks up a foul. As Reinish with it now gives it across to Sengir up top for Reinish going for three and he can't make it again. As up, up with it now is Leah and almost had stolen from Reinish. Teeny with a pass across. Bruno mishandles still with it. And the pass goes back to Martin. Fortunately, as it comes back the other way. Pass up top. Ray looks for a shot. And he's fouled on the play, I believe. And Ray's going to get two free throws here, if I'm correct. I'm not sure who fouled him. It was Bruno again. He's going to be his second foul of the game. Fifth foul of the first half for the Dutchman. It's Jonathan Ray, the senior for Shen, will receive two. And he misses the first one. As Dezekis comes out for number 35, Sean Konarski, the junior from Shen. And Ray makes his second free throw. Came in this game one for two in free throw opportunities. So we'll stay at a 500 percentage. Now it's two for four as Leah with it now gives it up top, Moffrey. Moffrey fakes on Martin and is able to get it up top. Now down low with it is Teeny. Teeny with a fake on Langer, tries a shot, just goes down. The rebound is picked up by Konarski. Konarski with a pass to Reinish. Reinish gives it back to Martin. Martin with it at center. It's motioning for Ray to go down low as Martin charges in. Can't find a pass, and so now he gives it up top to Konarski. Konarski charges in, and he scores. Nice play there from Sean Konarski going for two. As Caulfield gives a pass up to Bruno, now for, with it, Moffrey. Bunch of passing here, Caulfield for three, can't quite make it. Rebound picked up by Bruno and, and knocked into the quote unquote bench over there for Shen was Martin. I'm not sure what, he's gonna receive possession here. I believe it is Godel and yes it is. As Moffrey has it up top, they're going to need to get something here with 37 seconds to go. As Pat Bruno and Moffrey trade passes, Moffrey with it. Nice play by Caulfield on Martin. And Caulfield has it now, gives it across for Tini. Back for Caulfield. Caulfield looks, gives it to Leah. Leah tries to go down low. He has it knocked away from him by Reinish. Bad on that. Back in possession will be the Dutchman. Up top is Caulfield. Caulfield looks, gives it to Moffrey. Got to hurry here as Moffrey with it. Gets it down low for Leah. Leah goes for it, tries a shot. Buzzer sounded, but there was only six seconds left. And shutting up by nine right now. Bruno thought about shooting, he's gonna go for two here. Tries a shot, rebound pick up, picked up by Reinish. And that will do it for the second quarter in the first half of this game. Shen leads by a score of 27 to 18. So they, both teams have a back and forth first half. No real damage on the second quarter, but Dutchman have Little cushion to overcome as we will get back to play in the second half. We'll be right back here on GHS Media. Stay tuned. <laughs> 